Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. Okay, a little bit of breaking news that on July the 24th at the SSE Arena, Wembley, London, England, Joe Joyce is making his return to the ring against season veteran in Carlos Takam. Now, right away, I'm okay with this fight. I don't have a problem with this fight whatsoever. I think it's a decent fight. I think it's one that Joe Joyce will dominate and just use a jab pretty much all night and maybe stop Carlos Takam a bit later on. But again, it wouldn't surprise me if it goes a distance for a one-sided points win for Joe Joyce. But I'm okay with this fight. Now, Carlos Takam, of course, he's a guy who... Um, He's been in there with some of the best around. Alexander Povetkin, of course, he got knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. Um, he lost to, say, Joseph Parker. Um, of course, he got stopped by Derek Chisora after dominating De um, Derek Chisora in the opening couple of rounds as well. That was a frightening uh, moment in time. Um, I was quite nervous for Derek Chisora um, um, in those moments. But Derek Chisora came back and knocked out Carlos Taka. Now, Carlos Taka, I said, he's been in the ring with quite a few people. Um... It didn't really have a a win that would make you go, that's one hell of a win. It, it didn't really have that. But he's much like Derek Chisora, where he will turn up and he will give everything that he's got. In fact, Carlos Takam, he was one of two opponents, along with Azure Cabello, that was he was supposed to potentially fight Tyson Fury back in December. Of course, that fell apart. So, again, that's the kind of fighter that Carlos Takam is. He will get in there with anybody and everybody. But we like Carlos Takam here in the UK. Of course, when he fought Anthony Josh on that as well, he gave a decent account of himself. He can be a bit rough and ready in the ring at times. He will use his head and what have you. But I think that it's an okay fight. It's an okay fight. Of course, Joe Joyce, he hasn't fought since he defeated Daniel Dubois quite some time ago. In fact, Daniel Dubois, who suffered an orbital bone break, has repaired, come back, and already had a fight and got himself into a WBA interim world heavyweight championship position. Joe Joyce has been standing still. Because obviously Joe Joyce, he's been looking to potentially take on um, Alexander Usyk for the WBO world heavyweight title. But um, initially it would have been called the WBO interim world heavyweight championship. Where the winner of that fight would be ultimately rewarded with the full WBO World Heavyweight title once the first Fury Joshua fight happened. But of course, that all fell apart. So him coming back, taking on Carlos Takam, there's no kind of belt in this one. There's no kind of lofty position or anything. But we know Carlos Takam, it was in some ways an obvious opponent. Um, even though that, that, that there was talk about potentially having Tony Yoka. I mean, I would prefer Tony Yoka, but either Joe Joyce or Tony Yoka bottled it. I don't know which one did. Or even if an offer even went out, I don't know. Maybe it's all just a hot air kind of talk. But there's no kind of belt on the line. So, I mean, if you're Joe Joyce, you've really got to ask yourself, well, how did I beat Daniel Dubois? And yet, Daniel Dubois' career has just propelled in the very next fight, fighting an absolute stiff, a bum, in Bogdan Dinu. But now I want to fight Carlos Takam, a much better opponent than Bogdan Dinu, and I want to get nothing for this? How does that even work? Shouldn't even work. I know Frank Warren yesterday, as I addressed in the video yesterday, said that Joe Joyce um, will become the WBO mandatory and fight the winner of Fury Joshua as and when that happens next. As I proved in that video, that won't be next. That won't be Joe Joyce taking on the winner of Fury Joshua for at least three years or whoever's holding the belt. If, of course, no belts get stripped or vacated. So him taking on Carlos Takam, it's a keep busy fight. That's what exactly what it is. Of course, um, Carlos Takam, he's a top ranked fighter. His last fight was on top rank show. Um, so it was kind of inevitable, really, wasn't it? And in fact, I'm surprised that this fight really isn't on the Fury Wilder undercard as it's on the very same day. Maybe just move these two to that as a chief support or whatever else. So that would have been, or that would have made that event. A little bit more interesting but of course now we've got this one joe joyce versus carlos takam as the headliner at the sse arena in wembley on the 24th of july so i think that bt sport are probably going to do like a a double header kind of thing so obviously you kind of watch this fight and of course the event then a couple of hours later we'll probably kick straight in to the uh, tyson fury deontay wilder part three fight but anyway that's the news that joe joyce will take on carlos takam drop your thoughts below Click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.